Your glory is what? Different from mine. That is why you don't live your life because of your sister. Some people, the very reason why they are doing what they are doing because somebody they don't like have achieved that. So, they have to do everything to what? Prove a point. I'm not in the business of proving point to no human being. You are not here. I said I'm not in the business of proving point to what? No human being because why? I understand how my God have created me. Anything I say, anything I do, I operate my life based on what God have made me to be. But in society, if you don't know, that's what I've said before, if you don't know what you were born for, society will give you a new assignment to do. Amen? They will, everybody will tell you what you must do. And must understand, your glory is different from my world. Glory. Amen? Because if I don't settle this, I will go into unnecessary competitions and comparison every minute of your life. Any minute in life, you are going to compare yourself. And I've come to understand that what you dream, what even you want, even the new dentures you, are, you just got, somebody have had it for the past 10 years and they are looking for a change. But you just what? Got it today. So you were excited. I got the new denture. <laughs> Amen. Think about the new house. Eh? Think about the new house you are looking for. Ah, ah, if I get the house. Ah, somebody have had a house 15 years ago. He's sick and tired of it. Eh? Are you following me? You don't live your life because of somebody's word. Glory. I said our glory is what? Our glory is what? Our glory is what? Our glory is what? Different. 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 So... But your Bible says, according to what every joint supplies, gives growth to what? The whole body. So, God doesn't want me to be you. And he doesn't want you to be what? Me. He wants me to be me so that I can supply what? My strength. And you be you and supply what? Your strength. But when you are tempted to be anybody... You're creating confusion in the system of the land of in the land of the living. Now, there's something I want to deal with that the Spirit of God brought to my attention. That is the spirit of comparison and the spirit of competition. The spirit of what? Amen. And some of us, that is your problem. Your goodness is here. All that, even some of you, I cannot. I, I, I think I, I, can, I have the right to say that. At least I've been in this country for a short time, and I, 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 I've noticed something. Some of the ventures, some of you people, especially some people from other countries, who are originally not Americans, some of the ventures you are taking on. You are not taking on because it has been your original idea. You are taking on because people who from your background, people who are from your neighborhood, everybody is what? Doing that. So if you also, if everybody is driving Volkswagen, if you also don't go buy Volkswagen, you are not popular. And therefore, even if you can't afford it, guess what you are doing? You are killing yourself and frustrating yourself to get it. Why? Can I submit in plain language? Anybody who operates in that attitude, ah, you are a sick human being. You will die before what? Your time. You are trying to take on things that you don't have the capacity to handle. Did you hear me? Take it serious. Friends, a lot of things that are killing people is not because of demons. 
is because you are trying to do what at this level you don't have the strength to what you are taking on too much amen when you buy a shoe to wear i don't buy a shoe to wear for the fancy of it i buy the shoe because it served my purpose did you hear me are you following me now somebody will say when they go to wait for Delta Airlines, by the time they check them in, when souls need to be saved in maybe Papua New Guinea, they have to, their ministry have to have a jet plane sitting down there so that they don't fly on what? The schedule of Delta Airlines. When God said go to China, you are ready what? Get up, you are on your way going. Go to uh, Indiana, you are on your way what? Going. After Indiana, it's a stop by Worcester and preach in a Redemption Christian Center. You are what? On your way going. So, if you see somebody, a ministry have a, de a, a jet plane, you see, it is not your standard like some people, you enter ministry where, that ministry have a jet plane, that ministry have that. So, you see, our goal as a ministry, we're also looking for what? A jet plane is a sign that we have what? Rich or we have arrived unnecessary what capacity unnecessary challenge you are putting on it let it be that the season will come by the time you are talking about a jet plane indeed it's what a need it's a tool you need at that level to what fulfill what god has called you to so a big house to me it is not luxury did you hear me i say a big house to me is not what I need a bigger place for my study room. Amen. Amen. I need a bigger space. So to me, it is not a luxury. It's a need at this point. It's just like your kid uh, before he was, he or she wears size 2. But 10 years later, they wear size what? 12. So at, at the point, their need level of what? Change. They need to wear what? A shoe. So that is how you take on what? Ventures. Not taking ventures because your brother, your sister is wearing a lace. So I must also go, I can't afford it, but I must also go get what? A lace. You are trying to change God's order. Understand? Your glory, our glory differs. Our glories are not what? The same. And to the point that this comparison and uh, competition spirit has crept into churches crept into christians to the point that you see they are comparing denomination with what their denomination what their church is doing good and what their ch other church is not what doing good you see you don't understand eh? what you are doing good in my friend concentrate on your strength Polish it, excel in your strength. Mm -hmm. Amen. You don't have it all together. Are you following me? Hallelujah. You don't have it all together. Excel in what? Your strength. Because why God for the day in that, you might be good, 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 good. Your denomination can be good, 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 good. But if you take a closer look at it, there's a lot of what? Weakness all around it. And it is that weakness, that is why the next ministry exists. Did you hear what I said? It is the reason why the next ministry won't. But don't think your denomination. Some people even hail their denomination more than the name of Christ. Did you hear me? Comparing and competing.